Hi fellas, this is schematics again to the solution. Welcome back to my another video tutorial. Well fellas, today we are gonna solve chemistry rate problems. So today's topic is how to determine the order of propanone from iodine block reaction. What we will do in this video? Well, we will discuss how to find the order of propanone by obtaining experimental data and using them in a graph. Okay. What things we would learn from this video? We will learn about how to determine the order of propanone by doing a further experiment of iodine block reaction and know what would be the shape of the graph for this change in the condition of the experiment. Okay. Well, here is the summary of this video. Here we will learn to solve a problem relating rates and order of reaction, concentration of reactants, some useful definitions of this topic, analyze the rate equation, how changing concentrations of one reactant may affect the rate of the reaction, which reactant should be in excess and which should be limiting, how rate affects uh, the concentration time graph of a particular reactant, what would be the half life of the reaction, some important key points about this topic and finally some of the tips and tricks regarding this problem well let's get back to the question well this is the sort uh, study question this is the study question for today okay. so let's see what does this question ask iodine and propanone react in the presence of an aqueous acid catalyst as follows okay so this is propanone reacting with iodine. To determine the rate equation for the reaction, propanone is reacted with dilute. Dilu sorry, propanone is reacted with iodine in the presence of aqueous, so, uh, aqueous hydrochloric acid at constant temperature. Okay. Propanone is reacted with iodine in the presence of aqueous hydrochloric acid. In here, hydrochloric acid is acting as an as a catalyst. Here hydrochloric acid is acting as a catalyst okay, at constant temperature. Samples are withdrawn at known times and quenched with sodium hydro hydrogen carbonate solution. Well, here quenching means the reaction is being stopped by reacting stopped by uh, reacting sodium hydrogen carbonate with acid. So this sodium hydrogen carbonate react with hydrochloric acid. To stop the reaction since hydrochloric acid is acting as a catalyst so if the catalyst is removed from the reaction then the, then the reaction would stop because without the catalyst the reaction isn't possible here okay so in here sodium hydrogen carbonate react with hydrogen ion reaction stops since there is no catalyst okay and the iodine remaining titrated with a standard solution of sodium thiosulfate so here is the rate equation that is given here in this question. Okay. The graph of iodine, uh, concentration of iodine, this means the concentration, concentration, okay. This means the concentration, okay. Concentration of iodine against time is a straight line. Showing that the order of the reaction with respect to iodine is zero. So the in here, the reaction, uh, order of reaction with respect to iodine is zero. What further experiment could be done to show that the order of reaction with respect to propanone is one state the effect of this change on the graph. Okay. So they have asked us to find another method or another possible experiment that could be done here in order to find the order of reaction with respect to propanone. So our objective is to find the order of reaction with respect to propanone by performing another experiment. Okay. So state the effect of this change on the graph. So after doing this experiment, we gonna plot the results of the experiment into the graph and find the shape of the graph. Okay. And we will analyze the shape of the graph. Okay. So in here the total mark for this question is 2. Okay. So since the mark is really small, but still the 
video tutorial will get longer since we are going to discuss in details about each point to this question each possible point to this question because there are lots of possible answer to this question okay so at first let us get introduced to some definition okay so at first let us know what is uh, rate of reaction rate of reaction okay so rate of reaction is simply uh, the change in concentration with respect to time okay so rate of reaction is the change in concentration with respect to time and what do we mean by order of certain reactants in that reaction so order means uh, the number of particles involved up to and up to and including the rds step okay rate determining step okay order of reactants in a particular reaction means the number of particles of reactant of the particular reactant is including uh, is involving up to and including our uh, rate determining step okay so it is it is the number of particles involving up to and including rate determining step okay so it is the it is the number of partic uh, particles involving up to and including rate determining step okay so this is the definition for order of reactant okay so is there anything left for the definition to understand in order to understand this question so we have defined the rate of reaction well there is another thing that we should know that these represent third bracket reactant third bracket so what does this particular mean this means the concentration of that particular reactant okay concentration of that particular reactant okay so fellas i hope that you have came across with this term that we will use in this solution okay so let's get back to the solution well so let us at first examine this question what further experiment could be done to show the order of reaction with l expect to propanon is 1 okay state the effect of this change on the graph well if you have noticed the mark for this question is 2 so in here in here uh, this question can be split into two parts okay the first part for this question is this one so the first part have asked us the how to find the order of reaction by performing a particular experiment so this is the first part of this question and the second part they have asked us to uh, asked us to um, they have asked us to analyze these results results of this experiment in the graph in one one word we need in two words we need to interpret the graph okay interpret these results on the graph okay. so this is how it should be done so here let us discuss some of the things 
okay so let us discuss some of the things in here some of the two points so let us discuss at first uh, at first let us discuss about the uh, experimental method okay so in here we can double the concentration of propanol in here we can double the concentration of propanol okay so doubling the concentration of propanol so if we look at this uh, rate equation so in here uh, we will keep this concentration constant okay so we gonna keep this concentration constant so what we are left in here is this one so we gonna double the concentration of this propanol so when we double this concentration of propanol we can see that rate is directly proportional to this since this rate is directly proportional to this so rate also becomes double okay so in here we can double the concentration of propanol now keeping the other two concentration constant okay so it is observed that the rate also double okay from the rate equation we can see that since rate is directly proportional in here rate is directly proportional uh, to propanol concentration of propanol in here rate is directly proportional to the concentration of propanol doubling the concentration of propanol also doubles the rate as you can see in this rate equation okay since uh, since in here rate is di directly proportional to in here since rate is directly proportional to the concentration of propanol okay since the rate is directly proportional to the concentration of propanol therefore the order of propanol should be one in here it is also given one so here is the other uh, here is one reason that rate is directly proportional to propanol since the order of propanol is one 